Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Arrow working on um, Windows 7. Look, Windows 7, yeah. So, let's just go on today's video. Let me go ahead and create this. It, um, I'm going to speed this up. You can you don't really have to watch this. I'm going to speed it up so you can just kind of watch. It's be like, I'm going to slow it down. So, yeah. Look, speed it up. Okay. So, yeah, let me go ahead and start doing this. Windows 7 to Windows 10. I'm going to do this right quick. Screen resolution. Just so you can see it better. Because I know it's kind of hard to see this. downloaded it. Here we are. You'll get this thing here, but that likes your computer. So, once you're here, I want to make sure it's pinned. So, I gotta go to my um to the, my description, and I'm gonna link you it. So let me go ahead and um get it from my host desktop since I downloaded it there. But the links are in the description. I'm gonna I'm not gonna bring it from my host. I'm gonna get the link so I can show you. Okay, so hold on, I forgot to tell you. This bug's on my computer. Let me go ahead and give you this since I can. So you can look at the model and stuff. 
this is service pack one and this is it has um two gigabytes of ram you need two gigabytes at least to run it it would normally give you as recommended one gigabyte to get error you need two as minimum this thing has 60 gigabytes of space and it's service pack one and it's Windows 7 Professional and I find it easiest on Professional so yeah that's what this is so now um I have the link so the first link click the first link in the description and you should get this so then on this page what you're gonna want to do is scroll down until you see something like this and then it should say for Windows 7 and make sure it says x64 because I'm running x64 right now and I think I would prefer to get um, Windows x64 64 bit because it's runs more programs so yeah now once you're there you're gonna wanna find the version make sure you go down to Windows 7 download now then you might also in the second link you're gonna second link you're gonna click it scroll down and then hit download here that's the update and this right here it actually doesn't work so what you want to do as it doesn't work so you see this hold down left and pull it up here and drag it so there you go so let me show you what it does without the download so when you're doing the install VMware tools let me go ahead and install it It's gonna start doing this. You're gonna see in just a second. Give it it's time to work. I'll speed it up if I have to. I'll speed it up. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. So, I'm just gonna do next. I'm gonna do typical next install. So it's gonna be doing this. But here it's gonna start doing this cannot verify the publisher this is what it is so I'm doing install anyway then this is gonna pop up and then it's gonna try to do it again install driver anyway install driver anyway install again anyway install anyway error rolling back action There is what happens. It doesn't get it to work. I can restart. I'll show you when I restart what's gonna happen. Well, I don't need to restart. As I showed you, though, it didn't work. So, what you're gonna want to do is head to your downloads and start with the first one you downloaded. In the first, like the first link, the one that you downloaded from the first link. Run it first. This is to restore updates, but I'm using it just to get the root certificate to work. So make sure you do this. Follow what I do. Click I agree. Next. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so now it says you successfully installed it. Click finish. Now you need to reboot. 
Now hit yes. Don't install the updates yet. So here it is. This is um, configuring Windows updates, but we're not installing the full update bypass things. We're just trying to get the root certificate to work. Here we go. Back into Windows. Oopsie, I missed. Why did I mess up a simple? So now, you don't have arrow yet. Now you're gonna wanna install the root certificate. So that is, you're gonna be installing this. And, yes, so when you see this, hit yes. Now, I'm gonna speed this up for you. Well, I didn't need to speed that up, so yeah. So now, you have to restart your computer now. Now it's configuring Windows again. Now it's configuring Windows updates, not just Windows. And here we go. So now, I'm gonna show you what that did. The, um, if you did not get the first link, you did not get that, it's not gonna work. The root certificate will not install properly. So now, as I said, I got all those installed, but your arrow will not work yet. I'm just gonna keep on a basic so it just doesn't jump me. So now I want to. I'm gonna show you what that did. Okay, so now, next, leave on typical, install, I'll speed this up, never mind, I forgot, so now, see this, there's no errors popping up, remember, last time, it was popping up these errors and driver software problems and publishing errors and stuff, and now, bang, it's completed, it did not have any errors. And now you restart it. Okay, so now, as I got that done, I'm going to do this just to pop it back together. Now, uh, let it do this. I was waiting for that to pop up. And now log back in. So that configured your arrow. So now, you can go to arrow theme and wait for it. Look at this, now you got Arrow. So this is how to get Arrow in Windows 7 on a VM. I'm using VMware right now. This is not VirtualBox and this, I don't believe this doesn't work in VirtualBox. So yeah, so now you got Arrow and you can have it works over here on anything like Google too. It still takes names, I'm wondering why. Chrome says it has a theme of its own. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, now you can have this, you got the back of the arrow, yeah, that's how to bring back arrow to Windows 7. Hope you enjoyed, hope this helped you if you want to get arrow. Thanks for watching, bye!